Now I'm going to uh, share you that uh, differences between IM physical inventory and uh, WM physical inventory. So IM means inventory management and WM means warehouse management. So uh, even the EWM wise, I will plan, but at high level, it will be similar. But anyway, we will have a dedicated video between WM and EWM. So when it comes to uh, our inventory management, we know that stock will be uh, done at, um, I will, you count the stock or you manage the stock at storage location level. And when it comes to uh, warehouse management, the storage bin is the smallest level. So in IM, the stock count uh, happens at the storage location level and in WM, it will be storage bin level. And storage location and material combination can be blocked for posting. So when you create a physical entry document, uh, there are options that uh, you can post uh, you can block the posting so that uh, no one can do any transfer, receiving or picking, uh, receiving uh, goods issue. Nothing can be done. In similar way, once the physical inventory document is created, the respective bin will be blocked. Okay, even we have a cycle count process where the material level also we can do the blocking. So that bin cannot be used for receiving or picking. Uh, no operations can be done once you create the physical inventory document. Mm -hmm. So recount is possible or uh, if there are uh, stock counts are completed, but uh, if the differences are not accurate and uh, it's not uh, acceptable, at that point of time, you can initiate the process called recount. The recount is possible in both the cases, but in case of uh, IM physical inventory, when you create recount with parent material, parent physical inventory document, system will create new document number. But in case of WM, it will keep the same document, but it will generate a recount, recount version one, version two, like that it will create in WM. Stock postings can be done. Yeah, as soon as you enter the inventory count, the stock postings can be done irrespective of whether you clear the differences or not. Uh, in WM, after stock count, you cannot do, still you have to do the WM stock differences with LA20. So with LA20 transaction, you have to clear the WM stock differences. So the loss or gain will go to triple nine. Later, you can take time. So when you do the physical inventory uh, differences posting with MA07, the 701, 702, these moment type based on the quality block that uh, moment types are different. So seven series moment types. So 701, 702 will be posted as a material document. In case of WM, you will do the LA21, the last step of IM WM differences, then system will post 711, 712 material document. When you check MB51, if you see the moment type 701, 702, 703, 704, those seven zero series will be inventory management level, inventory management related one. And WM, uh, it will be 71 series. It will be WM related physical inventory loss or gain. So all IM related transactions start with M, like MA01, MA31, MA04, MA07, MA20, MA24, all these transactions. In case of uh, WM, it will be LA01N or uh, LX16, LX15, LA11N, okay, LA20, LA21, all those transaction codes are available. So always, uh, these are the difference between IM and WM physical inventory. In both the cases, the target is to find uh, the book inventory and differences between book inventory and system uh, book inventory and the physical inventory. Book inventory means system inventory and uh, physical inventory, like the real uh, how much uh, physical stock is available. We need to compare the differences need to be addressed either as a loss or gain. We have to post the differences so that the regular operations will work properly because you are matching the physical stock and system stock, both are 100 pieces, 100 pieces. So the sales team can plan their sales activities and the MRP, the procurement team can plan uh, how much stock they need to procure for the ongoing uh, requirements like a sales requirements or STO requirements from other branches. So all these things can be managed uh, if we have a physical stock and system stock are same. Otherwise, you will have a lot of challenges that system is saying 100, physical is 85 or 92, uh, but uh, system can create the sales order, outbound delivery, but when you go there, there is no stock. So suddenly, you have to inform to your customer that I cannot provide you the stock because of certain issues. So all these things can be avoided if you make the physical inventory process efficient in your company. So I hope uh, in this video, you learned about the differences between IM and WM physical inventory and the benefit of physical inventory process. If you have any more uh, points about this process, you can put it as a comment. 
and uh, if you like the video please share with your friends and uh, the beginners i hope everyone will get benefit out of this thank you